Even all remarks here, back again with another video, back again with another Oculus Go video. And in this video, I'm gonna quickly go over the new feature that's been added to the Oculus Go app, which makes casting to your phone or mobile device a little bit easier. So if you didn't know, Oculus Go, you can cast it to your mobile phone so you can see what's going on in a headset. Perfect to be able to guide people around VR if they're using it for the first time, you can point things out. Uh, it's not the best quality, but for just kind of sharing the experience, it works quite well. It's always been a little bit hard to get working sometimes. I know a lot of people have struggled with it, but they've made a good update to it now, which means you can start the casting process from a phone rather than in the headset. So rather than going to the share menu and then cast on your headset and then have to try and link it up to the app, uh, now all you need to do is go into the app and start it that way. So in this video, hopefully it'll be quite quick, I'll show you how that works, what it looks like, and also quickly kind of show you how you can connect your phone then to a Chromecast device to stream it to a PC or um, a TV or any other Chromecast compatible device. So you can share it on a big screen. So let's crack on. So here we are looking at my mobile phone. I was logged into the Oculus Go app. So make sure you go to your store, make sure your app's updated and you should get the slightly adjusted version. So the main difference here is at the top right hand corner, you can see that we've got a little sort of casting icon. So we've got search, cast and then notifications. If we click that casting icon, here we go. We now get a menu come up and you can see cast from, so no item selected. If we click on that, we can see any headsets that are on the same Wi-Fi network, which is the one I've got on my head, is now showing so we can click on that it then chooses it and then under that is cast to and we can choose this phone there's no other options yet hopefully maybe in the future we can chromecast straight to chromecast devices but for now it's just this uh, but there is a way of chromecasting your your phone and that sort of thing anyway so you know we'll, we'll touch on that as well and then all you need to do is click start at the bottom and then in your headset click allow and then it should there we go, cast our phone. So there we go, it's on my phone there. You can probably see that. Oh, let me look down a bit so you can actually see some stuff. There you go. So you can see what I'm looking at. How in sync is it? It's pretty, it's pretty well in sync there. Look, that's quite good, isn't it? Do 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 do. Uh, so that works quite well. Um, you can see on my screen what I am actually doing is casting it to my PC. So if you have a Windows PC, you can Chromecast your games or apps to your from your phone to your PC. So if we click on back to our desktop here, Samsung phones in particular, if you pull down from the top, scroll across, you'll find an option for Smart View. Uh, here it is, if we can kind of see here. So this is essentially being able to Chromecast. So if you've got a Chromecast connected to your TV, you should be able to find the Chromecast here. Or if you've got Connect set up on your PC, which is if literally, if you've got a Windows PC, Windows 10 or whatever it is, go down, search, type in Connect. You can see here, you boot that program up and that's what this is. And it shows up as a Windows uh, or as a Connect or Chrome device, sorry. I'm going to get my words mixed up. So you can connect to that. And that's what I'm doing at the moment to record. So I'm Chromecasting to my PC, but you can use the same method to Chromecast to your Chromecast device or anything else. So I've got full control of my phone as normal, but I can switch between all the different apps and look around and share it on my PC, record it on my PC, join it into my live stream or whatever I want to do. Uh, the quality isn't amazing. As you can see on screen, that is pretty poor. There's no options for sort of making it better, higher resolution, higher bit rate or anything like that. That would be nice if there's an option on the app to be able to sort of bump it up, especially if you've got a higher end device like I've got the Note 9. Um, it's not perfect, but as I say, I think for kind of just showing people around and trying to guide them through and just getting people, more people involved, it works quite well and it works on your TV as well. So you can get rid of that stop casting button. But as I say, as you saw seal there, if you want to stop casting, you just literally click stop casting. And that stops the Oculus app from casting. So it goes back to this menu. But obviously my phone's still connected to Chromecast so I can still do whatever else I wanna do. But uh, let's close that off. There we go, that's the update to the casting feature. Let me know what you think about it down below. We're still, it's still not ideal. It'd be nice if we could Chromecast straight to stuff. Maybe that's a button that we've yet to tweak and switch on. Maybe we'll get that soon. But it is possible, depending on your phone. If you've got an iPhone, you wanna be looking for something called AirPlay. Um, I'll put the little logos for the things you need to be looking for on screen here. Um, if you've got that and you've got an Apple TV, you can stream to that. If you've got a Mac, then you can you can AirPlay to your Mac. So that's kind of similar. 
Um, but Android, we're looking for Miracast or Chromecast or um, depending on what make phone you've got, like mine was SmartView on uh, Samsung devices. So play with those little options, see what you've got in your little drop down menus and you know, click them and you know, hopefully be able to share your stuff. So as I say, let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you like this video, found it useful, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down, that's fine. I'm big enough and ugly enough to take it, but do let me know why you didn't like it and I'll try to do better for next time. Become one of the remarkables, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when I next upload a video. And that's me done, I'm out. Have a virtual high five.